rival Clarkston. Then, under the lights, two-time defending state champ Warren will battle Big Bad Bryant. It's all football all day. The Alltel Hootens.com kickoff classic. Labor Day at War Memorial Stadium. on Hooten's Arkansas Football. A look ahead to the 2003 high school season. We'll tell you who should be some of the state's top teams in all four classifications. Plus, preview Labor Day's AllTailHootens.com kickoff classic in Little Rock. The season begins with a quadruple header at War Memorial Stadium, and we're ready. Stay tuned for the season premiere of Hooten's Arkansas Football next. You're looking at just one of four Alltail Hootens.com kickoff classic trophies that will be on the line Monday right here at War Memorial Stadium in Little Rock. Hello and welcome to Hootens Arkansas Football, our final preseason show. I'm Chad Hooten and we're just two days away now from the start of the high school football season in Arkansas. And it will begin right here on Monday at War Memorial Stadium, the big house in the rock with a quadruple header on Monday beginning at 10 a.m. and we'll be here till about 10 o'clock that night. Check out the lineup now as at 10 o'clock the Benton Panthers will take on the Shiloh Christian Saints. In the second matchup it's Pulaski Academy, the preseason number one team in Class 3A, taking on Springdale, the number one team to start the season in 5A. A lot of excitement about the second game of the day. Then it's traditional rivals Ozark against Clarksville. And in the final game of the day, it'll be the two-time defending champs Warren Lumberjacks from Class 3A taking on the big bad Bryant Hornets from Class 5A. So just a great day on Monday. Tickets will be available at the gate for just $7, and that gets you into all four games. So we look forward to seeing you out here on Monday at War Memorial Stadium in Little Rock for the AllTailHootens.com kickoff classic. Now, coming up in the next 30 minutes, we'll talk more about the kickoff classic, but we'll also preview other teams from around the state. Classification by classification, we're glad you tuned in. And we're going to begin tonight with Class 5A, a look ahead to the big boys, and it's brought to you by Big Red Fina. The Springdale Bulldogs opened last season ranked number one and waxed Warren in the AllTailHootens.com kickoff classic to start a 12-win season, including a 21-15 decision at Fort Smith Southside. In the playoffs, the Bulldogs ran over Lake Hamilton in Jonesboro before avenging their only regular season loss with a semifinal victory at Russellville. A week later, the Red Dogs were back at the Rock, but a rematch with Southside in the state championship game didn't go their way. Ten starters return at Springdale, including Sonic Super Team lineman Zach Eichenberger and bruising tailback Zach Butler, who has 4-5 speed and rushed for close to 1,000 yards in just six games last season. The talent for 14 wins and a state title are on hand at Conway, but expectations remain low for the Wampus Cats, who are best known for seven or eight win seasons, followed by an early playoff exit. Standout running backs Peyton Hillis and Kevin Wardlow ran behind returning standout lineman Colin Sears last season, helping the Wampus Cats share another conference title before losing in the second round of the playoffs. The key is, can they, even if they just throw a few times a game, can they complete the key passes to loosen that defense up? They've got to. And that's been one of their problems, too, when they've gotten into playoffs. Teams have stacked up defensively on them, and they've got to be able to keep defenses honest. The Bryant Hornets return 15 starters and open the season ranked number five in the state. The Hornets will miss quarterback Lance Parker, who signed with Vanderbilt, but should have one of the state's bigger and better offensive lines. Bryant kicks off its season against Class 3A's two-time defending state champion Warren in the Alltel Hootens.com kickoff classic on Labor Day at War Memorial Stadium. 6.30 game, probably the feature game of the whole day, for that matter. And, uh, it's very exciting, especially a team like Warren, state champions. It's a little bit of pressure thinking about back-to-back 29-1 -back record. 
but in retrospect, we're going to have a good program this year at Bryant. Let's get it done. Staying in Saline County, the Benton Panthers are set to open their season in the first game on Monday at War Memorial Stadium. Benton has some talent at the skill positions on offense, but defense remains its biggest question mark headed into Monday morning's game against Shallow Christian, which will both run and pass at the Panther defense. Russellville advanced to the playoff semifinals last season and should again be at least a top 10 team, even without all everything quarterback Landon Leach. Look for three-year starter Tracy Steiger to touch the ball more than 20 times per game at Russellville. We got to get some of our defensive young kids to grow up a little bit, which they're doing. You know, when they when they're out there playing as sophomores, it's awful difficult playing against the teams we play against. So, uh, you know, we're going to be better on that side of the ball. Got some good kids up front, Jonathan Rydell and uh, that bunch. So. And here's a look at Hooton's Arkansas football preseason class 5A ranking. Springdale on top, followed by Southside, West Memphis, Conway, and the Hornets. Everyone is surprised we have Bentonville ranked number seven. Then it's El Dorado, Fayetteville, and Russellville. Camden Fairview starts the second 10, followed by Talented Central, Dangerous, North Little Rock, Fort Smith, Northside, and the Zebras. Texarkana has a new coach in Bill Keppel. The Razorbacks are followed by Jacksonville, Jonesboro, the Mustangs, and the Mountaineers at number 20. Now, the United States Marines presents our Scholar Athlete of the Week. Your family. Defensive your tackle school. Michael Athlete McCarthy of Little Rock Michael Catholic McCarthy. has the quality every coach wants on his squad. His robust 275 pound frame is matched by his healthy 4.0 grade point average. He's got the grades and the football skills. In the future, with a little luck, he could be playing for his favorite football team, Notre Dame. Probably my life goal right there to uh, do that, like get that accomplished. No, I've always wanted to play another day since I was a little kid, so that's what I always, always wanted to do. Congratulations, Congratulations to Michael sir. McCarthy, the worthy Marine awesome. Scholar Athlete of yeah, the Week. Thanks a lot, Joe, and congratulations to Michael from Little Rock Catholic, our Scholar Athlete of the Week. Coming up next, more of Hooton's Arkansas football. A preview of Class 4A is next. Football fans, the high school season jump starts on Labor Day in the Alfield Farm. And we begin our look at Class 4A with defending state champion Stuttgart. The Rice Birds have played in the past two state title games, and nine returning starters could fuel another run to the rock. Hefty lineman Brett Helms and Trip Morgan are two of the more highly regarded players in the state. Senior running back Brandon Cunningham could be the workhorse for an explosive offense that can run or pass. The Sylvan Hills Bears lost to Stuttgart in last year's state title game, and it wouldn't be a surprise if the 4A Southeast rivals met again at War Memorial this year. For the Bears to make it back, they'll need to find successors for 11 graduated starters, including All-State quarterback Colby Sanders and linebacker Chad Brown. But a battle-tested defensive line and talented junior running backs Cammy Kareem and Hezekiah Smith should put Sylvan Hills deep in the playoffs again. Usually a team from the 4A West lands in the state title game, and Harrison, Alma, and Greenwood are realistic candidates this season. Harrison won it all in 1999 and could return this fall behind a steady running game and an aggressive defense. Under coach Frank Vines, the Alma Airedales have played for the state title eight times, winning three of them. The Airedales won 12 games last year, but look for Alma to again rely on a salty defense. The Corksville Panthers advanced in the playoffs last fall in their first season as a member of Class 4A. But just two starters returned from that team. And Coach Michael Banning's youthful Corksville bunch must mature quickly. We lost 18 seniors from last year's team that was very successful. Uh, and we come back with six seniors this year. And, and uh, it's going to be very important that those seniors understand the leadership role. The Batesville Pioneers led Sylvan Hills at halftime in the playoffs last year before losing 28-20. The Pioneers have reloaded on defense, and Batesville's offense has the potential to be one of the more exciting in the state. Have a good good group every year, good team, but uh, again, the playoffs and kind of falter there towards the end, so we're looking to break that jinx this year. Batesville lost at Bologna last year, and Bologna returns eight starters from that team, including twin running backs Dustin and Justin Shaw. But the Eagles' top scoring threat may be senior kicker Scott Brooks, who was successful on eight of ten field goals last year, including this 44-yarder at Oak Grove. If Bologna can stay healthy, they'll probably push Batesville and win for the 4A East title. 
And here's a look at Hooton's Arkansas Football Class 4A ranking. Stuttgart starts on top and has the talent to play in their third straight title game in December. Alma's number two and Sylvan Hills is three. Don't be surprised if the Bears make another run at the state title before moving back up to Class 5A next year. Greenwood starts the second five, followed by Batesville, the Win Yellow Jackets, Hot Springs, and Cross it. West Helena has the ability to play with any team in the state. Pulaski Robinson will miss three players who signed Division I scholarships in the spring. BB is looking for a successor for graduated quarterback Dwayne Lockhart. Marlton has a new coach and is ranked number 15. Then it's Paragould. The Rams return 14 starters and Paragould could squeeze into the playoff mix this year. Magnolia's 17. Then it's Mills, Clarksville, and the Marion Patriots. Coming up next, more of Hooton's Arkansas football, a preview of Class 3A, including a special look at the kickoff classic from a crazy coach named Mark Rushing. That's next, it's hysterical, and you don't want to miss it on Hooton's Arkansas football. Hello everyone, Mark Rushing here with more of Hooton's Arkansas football. I've given Chad a little breather so I can tell you about the number one team in Class 3A, that's Pulaski Academy. I'm the Bruins' official media coach for the Hootons.com kickoff classic this Monday on Labor Day. Of course, the Bruins facing Springdale. If you'll remember last season, I was the media coach for Warren when Springdale beat the Lumberjacks. So this year, I'm taking it a step further from sideline coaching to on the field coaching. Mark, are you sure you want to do this? Oh, no doubt. This is the only way I can get through to these kids. Just imagine. I can show them what to expect from Springdale's passing attack, the Bulldogs' running game, and give them a little taste of what a 5A defense is all about. All right, the team's on the field. Good luck. Coach, it's not about luck. It's about team. Gather around, boys. You know, I'm 34 years old. It's been 16 years since I've put on pads. But today, I'm gonna be your worst nightmare because that's what Springdale's gonna be if you guys aren't prepared. So today, I'm gonna be leading the scout teams and exposing all of your weaknesses. Ready. I started to school the young men from the quarterback position, reminding them of the fundamentals, like a good exchange from center. The Bruins pass rush was effective, and I think they learned a lot. Little taste of the 5A West right there. We learned that if Springdale has a 34-year-old quarterback with the arm that strong, we're going to pitch a shutout. His arm actually looked pretty good until he tried to throw it. At tailback, I was in a better position to test the defensive flanks, get a better feel for how Springdale might deal with the pass rush, and challenge the spirit of the entire defensive unit. I thought you guys were going to go full speed. This motivational tool proved to be effective. <laughs> Springdale's going to be actually that kind of speed. We've got nothing to worry about. I moved to the other side of the ball to look for weak spots along the offensive front and with the rushing attack. I discovered the Bruins are solid in both areas. All right, I think you guys are officially ready. <laughs> All right, guys, that's just a little bit of what Springdale has to offer. The Bulldogs are big, they're quick, and they're strong, but so are you. Yeah! Some of the best players in the state are on this field right now. Yeah! You guys can beat that team. You guys are going to beat them. It may have worked. I think those guys understand now that they're going to have to give it everything they've got, every play to have a chance. Meanwhile, I'll be on the sidelines nursing my various injuries, including some nasty bruises on the, the wounds you can see. Did I mention my jammed left thumb? I didn't think so. Let me put it all on the table for you right now. I have a bruised left elbow. I have a bruised right elbow, bruised arms, really. My rib cage was injured. It hurts to cough right now, so I don't cough. I also jammed my right toe, I think on the same play that I sprained my ankle. The facial wounds are beginning to heal, but the rest of my bruised body is a little slow to come back around. So hopefully all this pain will result in a victory for the Bruins on Monday against Springdale. Let's hope so, at least. For Hooton's Arkansas Football, a bruised Mark Rushing reporting. Thank you, Mark. I hope you get plenty of rest tonight. Pulaski Academy does open the season ranked number one in Class 3A, but the Bruins aren't the only AAA team that face a challenge on Monday in Little Rock. 
Two-time defending 3A champ Warren will battle Class 5A Bryant. The Ozark Hillbillies take on Class 4A Clarksville. And one AAA conference favorite, Shiloh Christian, will step up against Class 5A Benton in the kickoff classic. Benton's a good team, and we're, we're looking forward to playing, so it's going to be a good game. But uh, And it's, it's always an honor to play in the Hoops Classic. All the great teams come and play, and it's really a big honor to play in the Hoops Classic. So really excited about that. Um, everybody's just all excited about that, and we're going to have a lot of fun. We're all looking forward to it, and we've been preparing for a long time for this. Ever since we found out about an offseason, that's what we've had our minds on. And here's a look at Hooton's Arkansas Football Class 3A rankings. It starts with PA, then it's Prescott, the Lumberjacks, Rivercrest, and the Greyhounds. The Hillbillies start the second five. Looking forward to seeing the entire town of Ozark and Little Rock on Monday. Dollar Way is number seven with 13 starters returning. Then it's the Seminoles, Nashville, and Star City. Boonville starts the second ten, followed by Oak Grove. Oak Grove won eight games last year and pushed Prescott in the second round of the playoffs. Ashdown's number 13. There's Shiloh and Waldron. Dover checks in at number 16. Coach Mark Tucker's Pirates are talented at the skill positions. CAC is 17. Then it's Dumas, the Gosnell Pirates, second best team in the state last year. And Brinkley rounds out the top 20. Well, Coleman Dairy presents the Coleman Kid of the Week. When Shallow Christian takes the field Monday at War Memorial Stadium, the Saints offense should be exciting to watch with the talented quarterback and a tall group of receivers led by six foot four senior Brady Arthur. Brady has 4'6 speed and caught 43 passes for 761 yards last season. Look for Brady Arthur to have a big day Monday against Benton in Little Rock and help the Saints back to prominence this fall. Brady Arthur of Shallow Christian, our Coleman Kid of the Week. I'm gonna have a breakfast toaster sandwich with ham. Are you talking about the sourdough breakfast? Sonic has them on this Texas toast. We have the regular bun, the sesame, or the sourdough. You, but so Sonic has these, um... Meet the Charleston Tigers, our preseason number one team. Charleston led Harding Academy by two touchdowns in last year's quarterfinals before losing 28 to 21. Quarterback Doc Crowley has graduated, but almost everyone else returns. Nine one-way starters on defense. And junior Drew Hill is a threat to score every time he touches the ball as a running back, receiver, or on special teams. In Class 2A, Harding Academy was a clear-cut favorite last year, and quarterback Caleb Keyes put the Wildcats on his back and drove them to their fourth state championship. But Keyes and 20 of his classmates graduated in May, leaving Coach Tommy Shoemaker with his biggest rebuilding job to date. The champion might come from the 6AA again, though. You guessed it, Barton, where legendary coach Frank McClellan's teams have compiled a mind-boggling 330 wins against just 45 losses. The Vaughn brothers, quarterback Chris and wingback Antonio, are back, and Barton's depth will be better this year. If the third-ranked Bears stay healthy, they could play for their eighth state title. You play loose. You play reckless. You play win. Hooten's preseason number four team is Ryzen, another tradition-rich program that has collected seven state championship rings. I think our young guys are really going to have to progress. Our linemen are really going to have to carry us for a while. We don't have the speed that we've had in the past. Uh, we have some potential up front, and, and some of those guys are going to have to carry the load. Number six ranked Danville came within three minutes of capturing the state championship last December. With All-State running back Dustin Danner returning, the Little Johns could again claim the 4AA title. But without All-State quarterback Joe Short and lineman Albert Villadrosa, Danville may have difficulty getting past number eight Hector, an up-and-coming Arkansas Baptist, where third-year coach Tucker Barnard welcomes back 13 starters from a 5-5 five and five team a year ago. Uh, we're going to be real young again. Uh, we started... Uh, we started six or seven sophomores last year and we'll probably start um, five or six sophomores this year uh, but uh, we've got some talented kids and uh, we really believe that uh, that we've got a chance to do some things and uh, and do well in the conference uh, you know of course Danville and Hector are, are always are always going to be real tough and and uh, you've got to get by them to get one of those uh, top two spots but um, that's what we're that's what we're working for right now is, is one of those top two spots 
The Jesseville Lions marched to their first 5AA title last year, and the entire backfield of quarterback Sean Bates and running backs Blake Ellison, Michael Meredith, and Andy Alt return at Jesseville. Mount Ida's talented backfield of 2002 is gone, but seven starters are back on defense, including senior fullback linebacker Stephen McDowell. Cutter Morningstar is another team from the 5AA chasing a playoff berth, and a week three matchup at Glen Rose looms large for Coach Gary Jackson's Eagles. The first two are extremely important for us. Uh, those are two that, that we look at as must wins. Uh, I know Coach Elmore over at Glen Rose, he has all of his kids coming back, uh, probably getting adapted to his system a little bit. We were very fortunate to beat them last year. Uh, I, I think we have a good opportunity, hopefully, to be 2-0 going into that game, and we got to go to their place this year, and I know they're going to be ready to play us, but uh, that could be a pivotal game for us. And here's Lincoln at Hooton's Arkansas Football Class 2A rankings. Charleston, a bit of a surprise at number one. Look for the Tigers to walk through the 1AA. Then it's Junction City, which made it to the semis again last year, followed by Barton, Risen, and Bearden. The Little Johns are number six, followed by the defending champs, Hector, the Go Devils, and Jesseville. Hughes starts the second 10. Then it's Mineral Springs, the Patriots, Hampton, and Elkins at number 15. The Buckaroos are 16, followed by Augusta, P Ridge, Box and the Outlaws at number 20. Football fans, the high school season jump starts on Labor Day in the AllTelHoops.com kickoff classic. Come to the rock and watch tradition reach Shiloh Christian take off at 10 a.m. Followed by Battle of Preseason number one, Wingdale versus Pine Perra from Osby Academy. At 3.30, it's Ozark against rival Clarksville. Then, under the lights, two-time defending state champ Warren will battle Big Bad Bryant. It's all football all day. The all tell. All tonight, we look forward to seeing you out here on Monday at War Memorial Stadium in Little Rock. We've got the big trophies for the quadruple header in the all tell Hootons.com kickoff classic. We expect a big crowd and a great way to start Arkansas's high school football season in Little Rock at War Memorial Stadium. We'll see you out here at 10 o'clock Monday and until next Saturday night. Good night and thanks again for watching Hootons Arkansas football. Will attempt a field goal of 30 yards. 